Hello friends, in this video demonstration, we are going to see how to install and configure DNS server role on Windows Server 2016. And as you can see, the computer name of my computer is NS1 and it is in a workgroup computer. And if you see the IP configuration on this computer, the computer is uh, obtaining uh, IP address from our DHCP server. So before you go ahead, make sure your computer has a static IP address before you install DNS server role else your DNS server role installation will be failed. So just right click on uh, Ethernet adapter and select the property. Select IP version 4 and click on the properties. Select use the following IP address and uh, let's specify the IP address 192.168.1.1. We're going to use the default subnet mask and let's specify the 192.168.1.1 IP address as a preferred DNS server. Let's click on OK. And we are not going to use IPv6, that's why I'm going to remove the checkbox for IPv6. Just click on OK and close this network connection console. Let's click on refresh. Now as you can see, the IP address of this computer is 192.168.1.1. Now let's go ahead and install the DNS server role on this computer. To do that, you have to click on Manage and select Add Roles and Features. On uh, before you begin page, you just have to click on the next and on a select installation type, you have to select role piece or feature based installation and then click on the next. On select destination server, we are going to install the DNS server role on this local computer. That's why I'm going to select NS1. And as of now, we do not have any server pool on our computer. So this is the IP address of our computer and this is the name of my computer. Click on next and from select server role, you have to select DNS server role. Now select the checkbox. This will give you one pop-up. Now asking for DNS server will require certain features like uh, tools, DNS server tools and as well as the DNS server management console. Click on add features to add that. Click on next. You don't need any additional features. Just click on next on this console. And this is the brief overview information about the DNS server. On this console, click on next. Now it is asking you to confirm the installation selection. Now suppose if you are installing this role on uh, any remote computer and suppose that uh, role installation will require a reboot, that time you have to select this checkbox. But in our case, we are installing the DNS server role on a local computer and DNS server role didn't ask for the reboot. Just click on install to start the installation process. Okay, so as you can see, the DNS server role installation has succeeded on our local server NS1. Click on close to close this console. And now let's open the DNS management console by clicking on tools and select DNS. This will open DNS manager console and on DNS manager console on the for lookup zone as you can see there is no for lookup zone and no revisit lookup zone. So let's create a one new for lookup zone on our server. Just right click on for lookup zone and select new zone. Now on our welcome page just click on next. Now here you have to select the zone type. Here we have a total three options, primary zone, secondary zone and stub zone. Primary zone, it will create a copy of a zone that can be updated directly on the server. Now in our case, we are going to install the first DNS server and that's why we have to select a primary zone. Now suppose if you have a primary zone and you want to create a subset of the primary zone, that time you can select secondary zone. That was a read only copy of your primary zone. But in our example, we are going to select primary zone. Now as you can see, the fourth option is gray shaded because this option is only available when you are creating zone on Active Directory and that time the zone file will be stored under Active Directory database. Click on next on this console. Now here you have to specify the name of your zone. Now here for this demonstration purpose, I'm going to specify the zone name is yourdominname.com. Now you have to specify the zone name as per your requirement. Then click on the next. Now this will create a one file under system root, system32 and DNS and the file name will be your domain name dot com dot DNS. Click on next. Now here it is asking about the dynamic update. We are not going to enable the dynamic update on our server. That's why by default selected options is do not allow dynamic updates and then click on next. Now click on finish to create this zone. Now as you can see, now we have a one zone named your domain name dot com. Now under, let's create one host record by just right clicking on free space and then select new host. Now let's specify the name NS1. Now this will be the name of our host 
and the fkdn is ns1.yourtomainname.com and the IP address will be 192.168.1.1. That means this fkdn is pointing to this IP address. Now click on add host to add the host. Now as you can see there is a confirmation the host record for ns1.yourdomainname.com was successfully created. Click on OK and click on Turn. As you can see we have a host record named ns1. This record points ns1.yourdomainname.com to the IP address 182.168.1.1. Now let's add another host record which is pointing to our website www.yourdomainname.com and the IP address of that website is 182.1.1. We are going to use the same IP address as our server. Click on add host, click on OK and click on done. So as you can see we have a record for www.yourdomainname.com. Now let's create a reverse lookup zone and to do that you have to right click on reverse lookup zone and select new zone. Click on next. Now here we are going to select primary zone and then click on next. Now we are going to create a IP version 4 reverse lookup zone. That's why I'm going to select the first box. Now suppose if you are going to create an IP version 6 reverse lookup zone, that time you have to select this checkbox. Click on next. Here under network ID, you have to specify the first three octet of your IP address. In my example, it is 192.168.1. Click on next. And this is the file name which will be created under system root system32 dns and the file name is 1.168.182.in hyphen addr.arpa.tns click on next and we are going to enable the dynamic update that's why we will use the default selection click on next and click on finish to finish this reverse lookup zone wizard now under reverse lookup zone let's create a one pointer record that will point our ip address 182.168.1.12 you can also manually specify the host name if you wish. But I'm going to click on a browse, double click on ns1, double click on for lookup zone, double click on your domain name.com, and from here I'm going to select the ns1. Click on OK. That means this IP address is pointing to this host name, name ns1.yourdomainname.com. Click on OK. So now we have a for lookup zone as well as we have a reverse lookup zone. Now finally, let's test the DNS functionality by using NSLOOKUP tool. Right click on your computer name and select launch NSLOOKUP and as you can see the default server is ns1.yourdominname.com and the IP address is 192.168.1.1. Now let's specify the name www.yourdominname.com and hit enter. As you can see it is uh, responding with the IP address 182.168.1.1. And this is a server which is currently answering the query. Now let's uh, type the IP address 182.168.1.1 and hit enter key. It also gives us the answer uh, that is ns1.yourdominname.com. So in this way you can test the DNS server by using nslookup command. So this is the way how we can install and configure DNS server role on Windows Server 2016. And that's it for this video demonstration. I hope this video will be helpful for you guys.